Hey everybody, welcome back to Mr. Troll for a feature focused video. In this video, we're talking about palette from a positive effect. With the addition of streaming agent input and set attribute from live DMX input in version 19 of Titan, you can now create a palette or playback from a pause running effect. This allows you to make interesting looks very quickly. This will be for your own console or from another console outputting streaming ACN on the network. In this video, we focus on using our own loopback streaming ACN to record from. Assigning the input lines, setting the loopback, creating the masters, and making the shape are covered in videos linked in the description. We will fast forward to setting them here. Set up the console of the input and loopback in DMX settings. Set the input lines for all the features you want to use, or just all of them, not using any other external inputs for ease. Turn on loopback and streaming ACN settings. Create a grandmaster or regular master. The grand, the grand will also control an effect still on the programmer. Create a scene master. Optional if desired. Once you've got all that, saving the palette. Once you have the look you want paused, either enter blind mode using the blind key or engage slash enter the scene master mode. Select the fixture, go to the attribute you want to record the palette or playback from. Press the at key next to the wheel or click on the value in the display area and select live DMX input from the soft keys. Then save the palette or playback. Exit the blind mode, uh, press the blind key again or, or exit the scene master mode. A couple of quirks. If all attributes being used for live input in the pause shape is the same for all fixtures, say pan at 50%, the palette or playback will not save correctly. If just one fixture is at 50.01 for pan, the palette or playback works as expected. This can be adjusted in the save shape or in the programmer before entering the bind or scene master modes. When using scene master, the internal visualizer may change, but the real saved outputs is expected for how the real world fixtures are. So let's have a look at that. Here I am on version 19 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. Uh, I've also got a uh, full version of Capture hooked up to show us some stuff when we're using our Scene Master mode. Uh, but back to our main screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up the streaming ACN input. Again, we're going to fast forward through this, see the videos on it for more in depth. Now we'll go ahead and create a couple of masters. So now I've created a scene master, a rate grandmaster. I've also got our DMX input uh, coming into our self using loopback. So I'll make a circle shape real quick. Again, see the link in the video's description for how to make this. So now you see we've got a symmetrical circle running. I'll go ahead and use our rate grandmaster here to slow that down. So we find a nice looking position. Well, it will go with that. So now if I go ahead and enter the blind mode by pressing the blind key, and then select my beam 150s and go to my position attribute. And then either click on the pan value here or at the add button on the wheel of a console and select live DMX input and do the same thing on our tilt. Now we can save this as a palette without clicking an empty box in our positions window. And then we'll go ahead and uh, hit clear, exit the blind mode, and then uh, clear our programmer. And we'll just select all of our 150s and hit locate and then clear it out. So now if I select them, I give them a locate. I go ahead and make that zoom small. Their palette here. And we see that it saved that as our position. Again, we can do that from an already saved effect. So if we go ahead and we'll go ahead and fire this one up here. Oh, let's get our grandmaster turned back up. And then once we find something we like, oh, no, we don't know more. We'll go with that. And we can resume small, make it easy to see. So now we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and enter our scene master mode by hitting the scene master button here. And we'll bring up our full version of capture. So now if we select our uh, spiders, our fortes, and our size T2s, and we go ahead and Click on our pan again, or the app button next to the wheel, select it. We see it moved in our internal visualizer, but our real world didn't change any. Again, it's a quirk. And same thing on the tilt. And we'll go ahead and save a palette. And then we'll go ahead and hit clear, then exit the scene master mode. And we see that it didn't change any. We'll go ahead and release this playback. We wouldn't select those same fixtures or spiders or fortes or side T2s. Make the zoom small. Whoops, locate them. Make the zoom small and fire this palette. And we see that it saved it as expected. 
if all of our uh, fixtures had the exact same pan value, uh, again, that does give you a little bit of quirk. So we'll go ahead and fire this one up here. Oops, and give it some speed. And we'll find a position that we like. We'll say that there. So now if I enter the blind mode and then select the beam 150s and do my pan live, tilt live, and I turn it like a palette, we see it came up as global. Uh, which means it didn't save correctly. To show that, we'll go ahead and hit clear, raise our blind mode. Again, we'll release this. And we'll select the B150s and locate them, zoom small. And we see this palette it did not save it correctly. So we'll do that again and fix it. So I'll start this running, give some speed, find something we like. We'll say that. So now if I select my B150s, I use my fixture plus one button to select just one fixture. Choose my pan on it to 50.01. Enter. Now the fixture barely moved, but now our palette will make correctly. So now if we go into the blind mode and we select all of our B150s and we do our pan live or tilt live. Now we go ahead and double tap an empty box. We see it came up as normal. So we hit clear and exit the blind mode and we release and clear here. So now it's like every 150s and I give it a locate, small zoom, and this palette. And we see that it's saved correctly. And of course, we make a playback also. So we'll go ahead and we'll clear this out. We'll uh, do the same one here. We'll use this one again. And we'll start running and we'll find something I like. We'll go with that. So now we'll go ahead and uh, enter our blind mode. Select our fixtures. Put a live input for both. And now we'll go ahead and we'll set, make them, oh, we call our fixtures red. And we'll make the zoom small. And we'll make sure they're on open gobos. And we'll go ahead and hit record. Fixture mode would be great. Go ahead and select our playback here. Blind rigs, the blind mode, hit clear. Double tap release just to kill anything running. So now we bring this up. We see we've got it in red in that position, uh, just like we would expect it to. So that has been how to make a palette or playback from a paused effect. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Alien US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Real stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.